We've actually uh, been doing hay on this farm here. We've been here 33 years and we've been in the hay business a long time here. I'm uh, Lenny Melhoff. I uh, am the owner of Ruby Mountain Hay and Grain. Uh, we're a commercial hay operation and uh, we primarily produce alfalfa, alfalfa grass, and uh, we grow wheat and some malt barley. We went in and demoed the L341 when it came out and I ran it for a day and I, I told my son, ah, like, I kind of like this baler, see what you think. And, and he uh, basically had the same response. They're a simpler design. Uh, the maintenance, uh, we feel it like was far easier than the red ones, just being able to get going in the mornings. So I think the maintenance was a big thing uh, and then just the simplicity. Uh, there was no, no big chains uh, as far as that maintenance headache can be. And not only that, but the, the bale weights. Uh, we picked up at least 100 pounds of uh, bale weight too. That was a good thing too. We found out later that the, the 340 did not have the, the upgraded John Deere pickup on it, which was one of the big upgrades from the 340 to the 341. And it, it shows as soon as you have uh, the John Deere pickup on that baler, it's, it's almost a different baler. It'll just take anything. I mean, it'll wind blowing, you know, you get it all gobbed up. Uh, it doesn't, just doesn't matter, it, it'll take it. It does a good job of picking it up. Uh, it'll take the big wads, you know, it'll, it'll take it all. And, and uh, that's the other thing nice, nice about the feeding system is you don't have that stuffer uh, chamber that you had on some of the other balers. That's a complex thing, especially when they, when they get some age to them. But the deer just has that uh, rotor in the, behind the pickup there. Real simple. Bale assist, yes. And that is a great feature to be able to, it'll let you uh, cycle your baler with a remote. So you can actually be up on your nodders and uh, you can run, run it forward or backwards without the, the, the need of a, you know, another operator or, no, that's a great, great feature. Uh, plugging it up, I don't know, we don't usually plug them up. Uh, that is, that's another nice feature. If you do ever plug the baler up, you just slow the RPM down and it'll, it'll ratchet the thing through. I don't know how it does it, but uh, that's, that's different. The shear pins, there's no shear pins on that baler other than the nodder protection. If you've run a big baler much, you don't miss that. It works very well in the shear pin on the flywheel. And I'll tell you what, because it's always at the most inopportune time. Uh, it's been a great experience because we have a dealer, a great dealer, 25 miles away. We get great service from our dealer and uh, parts. So that's half of it right there, just to be able to keep running. All hours, it doesn't matter, you know, you call them and, and uh, they can get you something. I think that's a huge advantage to running green. And then just the product itself, uh, being able to run green tractors on green balers is an advantage. Works, works really well.